So, hey guys, Chauzy here, and we just got the data download for the uh, Kisuna Sugofest, which is actually rebranded, which is pretty interesting. It's called the uh, Worldwide Anniversary Countdown Sugofest, and it's actually going to be two parts, which is interesting. But we can see that it's a Kisuna Sugofest since we have the croc and Duffy and Raju, but we'll see how they classify Boa. Well, we could see here. Yeah, Suko has exclusive, so maybe normal legend, maybe Kisna legend, maybe anniversary legend. We'll have to wait for our announcement to find out, I think, which will be tomorrow. But yeah. I'll talk about the new BOA and such tomorrow, I think, today. I'm more interested to talk about the new 6 Plus, which is V3 really. Uh, before we get into it, one fun thing I want to point out. Uh, in 5 star form, Rayleigh really is actually a shooter. He doesn't buff shoot or anything, but he is a shooter. Then in 6 star form, Relic becomes a fighter, and then in 6 plus form, Relic becomes a slasher. So I think this is the only time this has happened when Aladdin has changed class through three, three stages, basically. So that's pretty funny. But yeah, let's just recap what Relic did before. Uh, this Captain Will before was really bad. Four times attack for two classes. He himself could get 4.75 five times attack when using his special. Yeah, very bad. Special. Some damage. Cerebrum Fighter, two times attack and or boost. And their normal attacks are can ignore enemies' defense effects for one turn. So this basically means damage threshold, rainbow shield. Barrier, damage, notification, stuff like that you can just ignore. So it's something that other units have in their captain ability, like Carrot, for example. But yeah, really can do it through his special. And the main issue with him was the fact that you could only use Relic special in a single turn, which made him hard to use, but despite that, he has seen some consistent use since release. I personally used him quite a bit in Treasure Map, sometimes. You get a lot from one special with him. And now we have the 6 plus, and we're going to look at the max potential relics so if you're having fully level limit broken. Uh, so it is Captain ability now. Uh, he boosts reroll slasher and fighter. So they removed fighter, but he still boosts them. And they added slasher, so that means you can use him with three clauses now, which is a nice buff, of course. Uh, he reduces damage taken by 20% now, before it was 15%. Boost chance of landing on own type slots, which is new. Makes cruise side tandem slots and matching slot effects. Also new. It reduces crew's attack down duration by 10 turns. Also new and obviously the biggest buff to his captain ability. Gives some legit reason to use him as captain, so that's really good. Tapping on this character with a side tandem slot will apply minus 10% side resistance to all enemies for one turn. And yeah, sure, it's not bad. It's just such a minor thing that it doesn't really matter much. And really himself can get 5.75 times attack if you use his special. See, in terms of multiplier, it's not a good modern captain like 5 times attack. Really himself can get 5.75 times attack. Yeah, not the best. But you have another option to remove attack down. So he will probably see some use because of that. Special. Uh, it says 18 CD, but that's wrong. Uh, we can see with normal Rayleigh that his CD is actually 13. 
just to keep that in mind. Special. <clears throat> he does 3 times. He's attacking damage now, so that's higher than before. He reduces paralysis by 7 turns, which is new. Changes all slots, including the block slots, to matching. <laughs> Obviously new, he only didn't attack it on more boost before, basically. Changes Relic slot to Tana. Boost Cerebral, Slasher, and Fighter Crash attack by 2.75 times. And Orbs by 2.5 times. So that's a very nice increase from two times before. And it's also for Slasher, not just Cerebral and Fighter. Uh, allows Cerebral and Fighter characters normal attacks to ignore enemies defensive effects for one turn. I just noticed that it feels bizarre that his, it says Cerebral Slash and Fighter gets buffed, but only Cerebral and Fighter gets ignored defensive effects. Uh, <coughs> makes me wonder if that's actually true. We have to test that or check the JP translation, but that feels like an awfully nitpicky way to nerf him a bit. Like, just give everything to Cerebral Slasher and Fighter makes little sense for one thing to not apply to Slasher, but yeah, we'll see. But it's a bit of an issue though, since this is like the main usage of Rayleigh. And you also boost the attack of the next final tap performed by a Slasher character by 30%. And as I said in my video I made about the uh, final tap buff mechanic. Uh, I think, think I call it end of turn tap instead or something. This is not only usable by units with the final tap potential ability, but anybody hitting last in a chain and it can be on any stage. So stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four. <laughs> Doesn't matter, you just have to hit last. Finally, one good change though is that you can use one more special. So you can use Relic first and then another special, or another special first and then Relic, but... <coughs> Sorry about that, it came out of nowhere. But yeah, you can use two specials total now. Before it was only once, that kind of sucked. But yeah, one cool thing with Relic, of course, is that he has the CD reduction, so despite being 13 CD, it's actually 8 in practice, which makes him uh, a lot more usable usable than you'd think. But yeah, I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with this buff. Not including Slash for ignoring defensive effects is bizarre, but what can we do? Uh, PvP, just a quickie. Uh, like the ability is actually really good. So when I read this, I was like, maybe we can actually use him in PvP. But the special, I'll leave it up to you guys. But for me, this doesn't look like a usable special at all. Feel free to disagree, but that's my take. But yeah, I think that's enough for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.